the, actually uh, regarding this EV kit in India, there were no legislation. So with our work, we could influence the government. And now there is uh, one uh, gadget notification, GSR 167E. Uh, without such legislation and the gadget notification from government, our uh, the state transport officials, they are reluctant to re-register uh, and uh, issue your RC uh, to the retrofitted uh, EVs because there is no guideline. So that's why the first step was to do from the policy point of view. So that's why we could influence and talk to different people. And now we have a gazetteer notification legislation in place, which allows to uh, convert the existing petrol or diesel the vehicle into electric vehicle, subjected to the type approval as per the AS, AIS uh, 123 Part 3. So these are the guidelines. One, uh, one company cannot simply do and uh, start running it. No. It is subjected to a type approval and a certification from the uh, testing agencies. Uh, this was never there, this legislation. With this, it is a, a legal tool allowing everybody uh, uh, legally and the and telling the RTOs and DTOs at the state, okay, guys, uh, <laughs> you have to allow this uh, this retrofitted uh, vehicles fitted the with the uh, EV kit uh, to run on the uh, public road. So this is there. It was never there. So that's what I said. We have to start somewhere. Then when we start along the road, we find problems, we find solutions. It's ups and down. So challenges are there, of course. 